So let's get started. Um, so welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for our um, mm. Clean Beauty Masterclass featuring our newly repackaged hydration sprays. Sean, our director of education, will be going through um, all of the hydration spray formulas as well as our skincare makeup system, which includes the hydration sprays. Um, so for those of you who maybe are new, haven't been to our master classes before, we try to do these about once a month. Um, and my name is Emma Roberts. I am the social media and influencer manager here at Jane Iredale. So I kind of host these and then our education team lends all of the know-how that I do not possess. So um, some housekeeping things before I turn it over to Sean. Some of you are already using the chat. That's great. Keep on kind of letting us know your thoughts there. If you have any questions, be sure to use the Q&A section at the bottom of the screen. Sometimes if questions are put in the chat, we miss them. So definitely use the Q&A section. Um, and then let me turn it over to Sean. Thank you, Emma. So I think you're really going to enjoy today's information. We're going to we're going to do a, a webinar and I'm going to um, show you some slides that have information and we'll also, um, you know, we, uh, turn off the slides sometime and maybe uh, show show our, our products that we have here in front of us as well. But I want you to see the information in slide format so that you can really kind of get the key points that you need to know about the about everything. So let me share my screen here. And um, we're going to do it in PowerPoint format. So uh, Emma, does my screen look nice and clear for you? Yeah, Perfect. we can see the um, we can see the bottom bar like the. Oh, you can see that, can't you? Let's do this. Let it. Let's um, let's switch the the um, the screen. Oh no, that's not the one that we want to show. You're seeing behind the curtain tonight. Okay, that. that, was great. <laughs> that was great. Hold on, just a second. I'm going to stop my share for just a second, and I'm going to switch my share to a different screen so that when I share, it has everything on a different screen. Hold on just one second. Share screen. I wanna share the desktop screen. I wanna share. All right, I'm gonna put this in presentation mode. And for just a brief second, it's gonna show my notes. All right, and then we're gonna swap displays. Now, can you see everything now? Does it look clear to you, Emma? Perfect. Thank you so much for, for, for bearing with us. So greetings, everyone. I'm excited to be joining um, our skincare makeup system today. I'm, um, I'm Sean Town, and I'm the Global Director of Education and Artistry for Jane Iredale. So um, a little background about myself. I've been a makeup artist for 35 years, and I've been with our brand for 15 years. I've worked exclusively for Jane Iredale. It's my favorite brand in the world. I know Jane as a person. I just, I love her. I love our brand. She gets it. She's an environmentalist. She's an animal rights activist. And, um, and I love our products, not just as, you know, as somebody who cares about the environment and about my skin, but I also love the performance of our products. So that's one of the things that I think makes doing presentations like this fun, because I don't just talk about what's in it and the good ingredients, I also get to talk about how effective it is at making your skin look really good for long periods of time. So um, what I've done is I'm gonna, I, I'm, gonna, what I, I, I'm gonna take a deeper dive than usual into the hydration sprays specifically tonight, but we're gonna, we're gonna frame it within the confines of the skincare makeup system since as you all know, that's such a hot promotion for us. Everybody's loving it. You guys are selling it out the door for us, and we're really proud of you for that. Um, but again, as we're going through the presentation, please feel free to ask as many questions as you want. Put them in the chat box or put them in the um, in the question box. But, uh, but know that we're here. Uh, Emma is going to moderate the questions for me and read them off. So let's go ahead and get on with the presentation. Um, to begin, I'd just quickly like to touch on our objectives for the day. We're going to start by discussing why the skincare makeup system is so important and break that down into several key points and aspects related to kind of to things that you do within your practice. Um, next, we're also going to explore the steps of the system and go into detail of what makes each step important. And after that, we'll talk about the hydration sprays specifically. 
um, and really the features and benefits of each one, which I think you're going to really, uh, if you're not familiar with the hydration sprays as in-depthly as, as, as we are, then you might be surprised at some of the information you hear because some of the ingredients are very precise in what they do for the skin. Um, <clears throat> then I'm also going to show you the new um, skincare makeup system display, which I think is a lot of fun. Uh, uh, and then we're going to go into um, some FAQs, just some, you know, frequently asked questions that some of you might want to know. Um, and again, we'll probably also have questions that you all might have come up with during the course of the presentation. So let's go ahead and move into what makes the skincare makeup system so important. Um, <clears throat> how many of you, I'd love to get so, some of you to type into your chat box if you're selling the system, not just pure press base, not just the primers, but if you're if you're promoting and selling the skincare makeup system, the primer, the foundation, the hydration spray in your location on a regular basis, and if you're getting success from that, type it into your chat box. We'd love to hear about that because um, we love getting your feedback on how how our products are doing in your location. So. The most obvious questions that some partners are asking is, you know, why do you need the system at all? And there's several key reasons that you need it. Number one is it ensures that clients are using the right products on their skin. And some clients might already be using Pure Press Base or they might be using the primer. But if they're not using the whole system, if they're not using the primer to prep the skin and the hydration spray to set it, then they may very well be using other or inferior products from other brands that either don't benefit the skin <clears throat> or even products that might irritate the skin. And we really want the clients to get the full benefit of the system. Second of all, we use the system to optimize treatment recovery. I think we all understand how beneficial it is to use products that don't sensitize or irritate the skin. When recovering from treatments such as procedures like peels or lasers, I think it's even more vital <clears throat> because this is when the skin is most vulnerable is following treatments that remove layers of the epidermis. So by using the skincare makeup system as a final step to every service, we're ensuring that the skin will recover even better and with less downtime. Um, <clears throat> and then the third reason I think is a really good one, it's to grow income. I mean, we all want to make more money, but there are only so many hours in the day that we can do services or procedures. We can work longer hours, but sometimes that deprives us of, of the rest that we need to recover. Um, we can increase our prices regularly, but that can only be done so many times before customers get frustrated and look elsewhere. But if you sell even one skincare makeup system per day, you can imp increase your profits substantially and make more money. And remember that while it takes an hour to do a service, it only takes about five minutes to sell a product at the end of that service. So by adding that little touch up at the end of every service, you're really making a huge difference in your income. Also, the system is a gateway. And you'll notice that I broke that out into a couple of different bullets. When a client purchases the skincare makeup system, she is introduced to a faster, more efficient way to, to make her skin look more beautiful. Um, her satisfaction will be immediate and profound. And as a gateway, it will spark her interest and curiosity to see what other products that our line has to offer and, and more product purchases will follow. And then with that satisfaction, she'll also develop more loyalty um, to you as she begins to rely on you for her services. And then she'll refer you to, to her friends. And, and as she tells them about the wonderful resource that she's found in you, you know, it's a, it's a win-win situation because you sell more retail, you gain new clients and you strengthen your relationship with them as well. So let's let's look at the system itself and explore it. Now, Emma, do you use the system on a regular basis? Do you use and and do you use the the basic system that you see here, or do you mix it up and use a different primer or a different hydration spray? Is there ones that you like better? 
Yeah, I definitely use the system. Uh, it kind of depends for me. So like I said, in the beginning mm -hmm. right now, it's so humid where I live. So I'll use mattifying instead of brightening. Yeah. Um, and I might use balance, but I'm kind of a loyalist to palmist. So I don't usually switch that up. It's only if I guess I, I feel like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, people love the palmist. That's why it's our best selling hydration spray. And, um, and, and that's why we put it in all of the advertising campaigns because people really identify with this one. I think it's because they love the way it smells. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also because if you want to really preserve the integrity of the skin long-term, this is our most antioxidant. So um, let's, so let's go into the steps themselves. When we're looking at the skincare makeup system, we always refer to the steps. This makes it easy to remember and easy to explain to your clients. We prep, perfect, and set the skin with Smooth Affair Primer, Pure Press Base, and your hydration spray. So you'll notice that each of the products has their own distinct key ingredients. Um, and this, by the way, is in the brochure that you can use in your locations. We have collateral to reflect this if you want to be able to show it to your clients. But the Smooth Affair Brightening Primer, you see, has the apple extract, which brightens the skin, and the royal jelly to give it hydration and protection. The Pure Press Base contains algae extract, which nourishes the skin. And of course, it has pine bark extract, which is a powerful antioxidant. And this is over and above the wonderful minerals that are in there as the SPF. And then the Palm Mist is known because pomegranate extract is another powerful antioxidant that creates not only a delicious smell, um, you just want to stick a straw in there and drink it, but, but there's also great protection in that. And, and also white tea, which soothes and calms the skin. So as you can see, there's lots of great ingredients in this. So let's let's kind of take a deeper dive into how we do the system. Smooth Wait, primer actually... is... I'm sorry. sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. We just have a few questions. So um, sure. if people are just saying that they're customers and so they have more of a like the application, the use perspective, which you're about to get into. Sure. But one person for um, the, the primer has a question. She says, I love these products. Do I use a primer before sunscreen? That's a great question. So typically you'll put your primer on as the last step of your actual skincare before you put your foundation. So it's the layer before either Pure Press Base or any liquid foundation that you're gonna use. And when we're talking about Pure Press Base as, a, or when we're talking about Smooth Affair Primer, it does have skincare value, but it's still technically, it's a primer. So because sun protection, if you're talking about like a liquid sun protection or a, an SPF moisturizer, that's always going to go before the primer because that's technically skincare. So hopefully that answers the question. Um, so the Smooth Affair Primer, in, in, are there other questions? Ooh, sorry, I had to unmute myself. Um, <laughs> so I think it's pronounced Jeannie. She um, says, I'm a customer, not a seller. I wanted to know if there's a similar bronzer. She said she used to use one that came in a tube with a brush on top. Doesn't remember the name of it. Would like to locate it again. I was actually typing out our sponsor. I think it's Amazing Base. Yeah, Amazing Base it does come in a brush, or in a in a in a brush with a with the powder on the inside of the of the handle. So we don't have a bronzer that comes in a container with a brush on top. And to my knowledge, the the bronzers that we've had in the past have always been in compacts. So or in 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 containers. So. Um, but but a lot of people over the years have used our Amazing Base as a bronzer. They'll get a deeper shade of Amazing Base, like caramel or teak wood, and they'll use that as a bronzer because it looks so beautiful on the skin in the Amazing Base. So, yeah. That and might be the Teresa just wrote in too. She has a good question about um, Smooth Affair. So she's saying, do you put Smooth Affair primer on um, your under eyes and over your eyelids? Like, is it a full face and eye? primer or just a face I primer? do. And as a matter of fact, I'll put it all over the whole face and put it on the eyelids. And then when I know I'm going to do a smoky eye or I'm going to do a nice intense eyeshadow look, I'll go back and put more of the Smooth Affair primer and, and just really layer it on the eyelids so that the eyeshadow really sticks to the lid because it's a great eye primer as well. 
So, and my favorite eye primer to use uh, of all the primers, the Smooth Affair Illuminating Glow. I love using that as an eye primer. It's my favorite. So, so any other questions? Do you see? All right. No, not so far. Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's good. We have a, a really interesting mix of customers and um, partners as well. That's excellent. I'm glad that I'm glad that consumers are joining us today. That's wonderful. It makes me so happy to know that our consumers are taking a vested vested interest. Um, so when we're talking about Smooth Affair, it's going to create that perfect finish for pure press base to adhere to. It hydrates the skin without causing any oiliness or shine. It fills in the texture and it minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and it feels incredible on the skin. So I think the, the most important function of Smooth Affair, though, is that it increases the makeup longevity and allows for better application of Pure Press Base. So when we use it, we always use it as the first layer for the system. <clears throat> a pea size amount is enough, and you can massage it into the skin like you would a moisturizer. Or if you're a makeup artist like I am, you can put it on a palette and put it on with a brush so that you're not having to wash your hands. You can put it, and then I'll put, very often I'll put my liquid foundation on with the same brush that I use the Smooth Affair with and mix it together a little bit. So, um, but if you're going straight to pure press base for the system, you can apply it with a brush or with your fingers. <clears throat> then the pure press base, um, Next, when, when we apply Pure Press Base, I really don't have to give this product much of an introduction is it, as it is our best-selling product worldwide. One is sold every 60 seconds. Its function is as a foundation, a powder, a concealer, and a broad-spectrum sun protection in one. So when you apply it over the Smooth Affair Primer, it gives kind of a perfect skin-like finish. It's seamless, it's weightless, you never have to worry about it looking dry or textural on the skin. And this is one of those products that we're, we're most well known for at Jane Iredale. So not only is it our most ubiquitous product, the one that you can find just about anywhere, but it's the one that if you're a partner, you probably have it in your location. If you're a consumer and you've started using it, you've probably already fallen in love with it. So, um, and then finally, when we're talking about the hydration spray, um, we spritz the skin to finish. For people who are new to the system, I always recommend Palm Mist as it's our most popular hydration spray and it smells like a dream. Not only is it gonna set the makeup, but it's also gonna give that incredible smooth skin-like finish. And of course, it increases makeup longevity um, because it turns the powder into a liquid for a brief moment on the face. And then when it dries, it dries bonded to your skin. So this is crucial as a step because what it does is it, it makes sure that the makeup, the primer, all of it is bonded onto the surface of the skin and that it's not gonna go anywhere and stay for a long period of time. So this is how we create the perfect complexion. So um, now let's look at some variations of primers and hydration sprays that can be used with the system if you wanna customize the different skin types and conditions. And as we're doing this, what we'll also do is go through the individual primers, or I'm, th I'm sorry, through the individual hydration sprays so you can see and identify the differences between them. So Palm Mist, as we just mentioned, is the one that is known for having pomegranate extract, which is a powerful antioxidant and a free radical scavenger that increases the skin's ability to protect and repair itself from sun damage. But the key features of it is that it sets the makeup for a long lasting finish and it gives refreshing hydration to the skin. When you're putting it with the system, you're putting it with the Smooth Affair Brightening is for normal skin, Pure Press Base, and then the Palm Mist. And this is not just for normal skin, it's for all skin types. And women with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, discoloration, absolutely love this, this specific system because of all that antioxidant and brightening value that you're getting from both the primer and the hydration spray. Then the balance hydration spray is our favorite for oily skin. Not only is it gonna lower oil production with the citrus extracts that are in there like, like bitter orange and grapefruit, 
but it's also going to um, address acne causing bacteria because it has green tea extract in it, which is a powerful antimicrobial. So these two products work, or these two ingredients work really well synergistically. It's great, not just for oily skin, but even for acneic skin or people that have severe oiliness, like hyper sebaceous glands, absolutely love this product. Or for people that just really want a matte finish, they don't want any shine on their face, they're gonna love it. So for the oily skin complexion or the matte skin complexion, what we're doing is we're combining Balance Hydration Spray with the Pure Press Base, and we're putting Smooth Affair Mattifying Primer underneath it. And remember, the Mattifying Primer is our most matte primer. This is the one that's going to take away all shine and keep your skin very matte throughout the course of the day. Um, do you ever wear, I know, I know, Emma, I've heard you talk about oily skin before. Do you ever wear the Mattifying Primer? Yeah, only only kind of in this kind of weather, because in the in the winter, my skin is definitely more dry. So I'll usually go with brightening and D2O. But yeah. um, but in the in the summer, when it's really hot and humid, I definitely use mattifying. Yeah. Yeah. My husband has very oily skin and he loves the mattifying. It's been when we launched it, we sent him the prototype first when we were when we were still produ like creating it. And he was one of our people that was sending back feedback on it. And he uses it every single day of his life. He doesn't walk out of the house without it because he gets really shiny. So it's really, it's very effective product. So for dry skin, we're gonna use D2O hydration spray. And notice that we've now switched over the D2O to a blue bottle. The, uh, the balance is in a gold bottle now. And the, the D2O is in a blue bottle. So. When customers come in, if they say, I want the one in the gold bottle, make sure that you clarify that they're not asking for the old D2O and that they're asking for balance hydration spray. And if they say, I want the one for dry skin, you're going to go with the blue. Blue for water. That's what I like to think of it as. Water for hydration. So the, 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 the D2O hydration spray is actually the first formula that we created. It also has wonderful soothing ingredients in it. It's chamomile and ylang ylang. So it feels wonderful on the skin, but it's our favorite for de dehydrated and dry skin. Really good for people that are concerned with moisture loss or people that are traveling a lot. I use this one when I'm on the road, especially in the winter time. You, most of you know, I'm on an airplane every week. I'm, I'm never home. And when I'm, when I'm traveling, I, my skin gets so dry that it gets itchy and I get, I get cracks on my skin. So the D2O is a huge um, uh, treatment for me that I do on a regular basis. Not only do I put it on before my or after my makeup in the, in the morning, but I also spritz it on at night when I go to bed under my night cream to keep my skin more hydrated. So when we're combining this with a, with a skin system that's specifically for dry skin, one of our favorites is combining it with Smooth Affair Illuminating Glow, which as you know, has hyaluronic acid and shea butter in it for lots of hydration and preventing trans epidermal water loss. And then the D2O. So you're getting, again, you're sandwiching your pure press base between two very hydrating products for that extra moisture bound complexion. Um, and then finally, for sensitive skin, we've got the Calming Lavender Hydration Spray. And we, we, this is our newest hydration spray. And for those of you who are not familiar with this formula, not only does it have lavender and chamomile, which are soothing and calming to the skin, but there's also an interesting ingredient called Miramaze Extract. And what Miramaze is, is it, it comes from a plant, the Miramaze plant, that grows in desert areas of South Africa. It goes for months and months without water and it will wither and look like it's completely dead. And then with one little rain shower, it completely revitalizes and looks like it's been, you know, growing for months and months in, in, in like a, a moist area. So they call it the resurrection plant because of its ability to quickly recover and come back from the dead. And, and look fresh and hydrated again. So that's what we're harnessing for this hydration spray. So this is our favorite for, for dry inflamed skin. 
It's great for people with sensitivity, rosacea, um, people that get redness and irritation easily or that have a lot of allergies. For our estheticians and our skincare professionals out there, this is the one that we like to use after peels and lasers, after medical facials that have reddened or irritated the skin. This is gonna be great for them. Also great for people that are doing Retin-A or peeling agents because it helps with that day-to-day -day redness that we get. It's very soothing and calming. So <clears throat> when we're combining it with a system, we're gonna combine it with the Smooth Affair Brightening and then we're going to put it um, uh, kind of sandwiching the pure press base in between again. The brightening we're putting with this because Smooth Affair Brightening has been shown to, to be really soothing and calming to the skin as well. So a really great combination of products there. And Did we get any questions? Yeah, I was just going to say. So, um, so Jeannie Perfect. and Barbara in the comments have just been saying that they prefer Amazing Base. And there was a question of whether or not you can use Amazing Base with the system. And I said, absolutely, you can. The finish is just different between the two. Yeah. You betcha. The reason we focus on Pure Press Base is because, of course, it's such a popular product. I think people like it because it's so portable and it's so quick and easy to put on. But if you are a diehard Amazing Base customer, then you can absolutely use the system with Amazing Base. And it works just as well. And as many of you may know, Amazing Base is more luminous. It's a loose powder. So it's going to give the skin more of a glow. So if you want to really enhance that glow, you can put the Smooth Affair Illuminating Glow under it. But if you want to tone down some of that luminosity and amazing base, put the mattifying primer underneath it and look at the magic happen. You'll be very surprised at how matte you can make um, amazing base look when you put the mattifying primer under it. So yeah, um, and there's a, there's a couple other questions. So um, Laura is asking a good question that I we get all the time on social, which is basically how do you determine your undertone? So when you when you're looking in the mirror, if you see yellow in your skin, if you can see a gold undertone, then that means that your undertone is warm. Warm means it has a yellow undertone, and typically you'll see your undertone best when you get a white piece of paper and put your skin next to it and don't do it on your arm, do it on your face. Because on your face, you can see much more accurately against the white, whether your face has more yellow or more pink or more red or more peach. Like for, for example, that wasn't a white piece of paper. Let me get a white piece of paper here so you can see. This is white. So with, with me, you can see that I have peachy, I have, I, I have a truly neutral skin tone because there's equal parts of both pink and yellow. I have a peach, it's a deeper peach because I'm kind of tan right now, but, but it's definitely a peachier skin tone. Warm means it has a yellow undertone. Cool means it has a pink undertone. Neutral means it has equal parts of both pink and yellow in its undertone, peach. So yes. hope that helps. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm going to put um, two links in the chat as well for those of you who aren't quite sure. Maybe you'll look in the mirror, you're like me, you look in the mirror and you're like, I don't, I don't know. So <laughs> I'm going to put two links in the chat. One is to find a partner location and then the other one is to use our um, foundation finder on janeiredale.com too. Yeah, so that's a great tool. Um, and then the last question is from Patty. She's asking how the sprays mm -hmm. differ from Chanel's, but I think that can be expanded to how are our hydration sprays different from other setting sprays? Yeah, so if it says setting spray on it, um, I'm not a big fan of things that are specifically setting sprays because sometimes setting sprays can have polymers in them. Like, you know, you think of like hairspray as a polymer that are meant to kind of set or, or glue the makeup to the face. And that's not how our hydration sprays work. It's important to distinguish something. When we're creating our hydration sprays, we don't just get water and mix it with ingredients. We, we distill the water, which means we boil ingredients into the water and we capture the steam. Um, that process is called distillation. When you distill the water, it removes not just the impurities from the water, it also removes the minerals from the water. So when you spray mineral makeup with this that has no minerals in it, it goes and it sucks into the makeup and fuses it to your skin. And that's how you get that long lasting finish. There's also no heavy emollients in this. 
You don't have to shake it. It's, it's mixed permanently. The ingredients are in there on an ionic level. The particles are small enough that they penetrate really well into the makeup. I, I can't speak to Chanel's or any other brand of hydration spray. Um, I can only speak to ours. But what I can say is that if you're interested in learning more about clean beauty, look at the ingredients that are under Jane Iredale's hydration sprays. And then look at the ingredients that are in other brands of hydration spray. Remember that Jane has been setting the standard for clean beauty since 1994. And back in the 90s, there was no such thing as clean beauty. People, that, that term had not really been invented yet. It's a term that came into play years after people started recognizing what Jane Iredale does. And a variety of other makeup companies started sprouting up also claiming, hey, we're clean too. But remember that many of them are trying to do what we've been doing for a good good 30 years almost we have under our belt of being the leaders in the clean beauty industry. So I hope that that, that information is helpful. Yeah, and, and um, Barbara actually just asked a really good question. So um, she's asking if you reach the use by date on the bottom of the hydration spray bottle, can you still use the spray? So use by is typically um, uh, something that you're that you're putting into the location for your your retailers that are selling it. So as as a retail brand, and I'm just looking at the Best Buy, yeah, um, 924 is the one that I have on here because this is a new one. So the expiration dates on these are pretty long because they're they're very well preserved, which is interesting because we don't use parabens in them to preserve them. The main thing that we're using is things like radish root, um, antioxidants and vitamins to preserve. There's no synthetic preservatives in our hydration sprays. Um, not, that we, not that we would be opposed to using maybe potassium sorbate or something like that because those are technically synthetic preservatives, but they're completely safe for the skin, safe for the body. And that's, that's our criteria when we're preserving something. But when we're, when we're talking about our hydration sprays expiration date, the best buy is for our, our retailers. They should not be selling it if the best buy date is expired. If you as a consumer have it in your location and you bought it before the expiration date and you've just had it in your cabinet for a long time, chances are it's still good. We just don't want our partners to get in the habit of selling it when it's long past its expiration date. But I'll tell you now, I've I've had hydration sprays for a little bit longer than their expiration date. They typically stay well, stay uh, fresh for quite a long time. Um, I probably wouldn't keep one for more than a year after the expiration date, but a couple of months shouldn't be a problem. So Yeah, and I will say from my experience too that the hydration sprays will change. They'll get a little darker. Like if you're not sure you can pour it out, it gets a little darker. And then it also, the smell changes too, if it goes off. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing I will say too, with this new packaging um, launch with the hydration space, we came out with um, minis for all four of the formulas. So if yeah. you maybe don't use the hydration spray all that much, but you like to keep it on hand as maybe a toner or, you know, the few times that you do wear makeup, definitely recommend getting the, um, the minis too. Um, That's a really good idea. Yeah. And if you're like a diehard fan and you love them, we like them. I mean, we meaning the women who work at Jane Iredale and I'm sure Sean as well. Um, we use the minis in our bags as well, just to kind of refresh throughout the day. Yeah. A lot of people are loving the minis with all the holiday travel that we've been seeing this year. So it's nice to see people back on airplanes and going places again. I, I see it every, every week. Cause again, like I'm on an airplane all the time and airplanes are more packed now than I've ever seen them. And I, it's funny, I always tell my audiences when I'm speaking live, I always say, what I, I carry my hydration spray with me everywhere I go and I use it when I'm traveling, but I never pull it out and use it on the airplane because everybody wants to try it and then it comes back empty. So I have to really be careful and guard my hydration spray. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, we do actually. Um, <laughs> Sandy is asking a question that I ask myself every day, which is, can you put too much spray on? You know, I mean, if it's dripping off of your face is the only time that I think it, it's too much. I mean, when I spray my face, I'll put on my Pure Press base and then I'll do a good 
10 sprays of hydration spray when I spritz my face. I always tell people, don't be afraid to give yourself a good drenching, a good soaking of the hydration spray. It doesn't hurt the makeup. All it does is meld the makeup to the skin. The only thing that would be detrimental is if you were to spray it and then rub the makeup. You don't want to do that because when the makeup is still damp with the hydration spray, it's more movable. But once it sets, it won't go anywhere. And I, when I'm color matching people, I'll stripe stripes to, to choose the right color and then spritz the stripes. And then unless I have makeup remover, sometimes I'm rubbing with a tissue trying to get the stripes off the face because once I've set them, they don't want to go anywhere. So that's kind of a testament to how well they work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the answer is no, unless it's dripping off your face, then yes. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. A couple more questions and then I think we can move on. So um, I think it's D Danelle uh, says, I'm a new Jane Arundel customer. Yay. Thank you. Um, what technique is used with the skincare makeup system to minimize aging hyperpigmentation? To minimize age and hyperpigmentation? So the do, she said, which which system or which hydration spray? Um, which technique? So I think kind of basically, how do you get that coverage level if you're looking to minimize the appearance of hyperpigmentation? Absolutely. So there's a couple of things I can recommend. First of all, if you're using the the basic system, the brightening primer and the palm mist, then that's a step in the right direction because again, the antioxidants and the ingredients that are brightening in those products will definitely help to address the hyperpigmentation over time. But if you want to cover the hyperpigmentation, my recommendation is using a concealer that has some peach in it. Um, peach is great for neutralizing gray, black, brown, any kind of discoloration on the face. We use it also for dark circles in discoloration under the eyes. But when you put a light colored concealer over a dark spot or a freckle, you'll notice it can turn gray. But when you use a peach tone, the orange peach tone of the concealer will neutralize the brown or gray or dark spots that are in the face, the hyperpigmentation very well. And that's how you get a brighter looking complexion. So one of my favorite concealers for, um, for hyperpigmentation is called Enlighten One. And I like it because not only does it have a peachy peachy uh, color, but it's a wonderful consistency. It's made from avocado oil, sunflower oil, moringa seed oil. So it blends out really nice. It's very emollient. You can tap it wherever there's hyperpigmentation and blend it into the rest of the skin. There's also Amazonian maripoma, white lily and sumarut, which are skin lightening agents that treat the darkness while it covers the darkness. So if you wear it on a regular basis, it'll help to fade your hyperpigmentation. So great treatment while you're covering. And that, again, that's called Enlighten Plus, or not, not I'm sorry, not Enlighten Plus, Enlighten One Concealer. And it comes in a pot and it's a peach color. There's another one called Enlighten Plus that has SPF in it that um, people use for higher coverage and for dark circles. Um, you can also use that, but my favorite is is definitely the Enlighten One. So. And I just shared the link for that as well. Um, one last question um, from Amber. She says, if you use Jane Iredale powder blush and eyeshadow, is spray done before or after those products? So I'll spritz after the, I do, but I always spritz after I do the pure press base just to meld it to the skin so that if I want to put more products on top, they won't move. But after I do my bronzer, sometimes I'll spritz again. After I do my blush, sometimes I'll spritz. After I do my eyeshadows, I'll spritz. And what it does is it's setting each of those layers. Like if I wanna create a really dark, intense, smoky eye, I'll put a layer of eyeshadow and make it dark and then I'll spritz it, let it set, and then go back over it with more dark color to make it even more intense. Because you can get cumulative application when you spritz between layers. So that's a little makeup artistry trick. Awesome. That's it for questions, I think, for now. So we can definitely move on. Very good. So if you are a partner, this is something that we highly recommend. You should be displaying the skincare makeup system on the display. And if you're a consumer and you're going into partner locations, look for this display 
and it will have all of the products that you need for your skincare makeup system on there. And there should be a professional within each location to help you and show you which products to use and kind of guide you through the process. But if you're, if you're a partner, one of the things I really love about this is it's not just a display, it's also a working unit. So you can actually work from it and it keeps all the makeup nice and organized if you're doing applications. I've even seen some of our estheticians putting this in the treatment room so they can touch people up at the end of services. So it's really beautiful and I think it's a great representation of our brand. So, and that brings us to the FAQs. A couple that I just think are important to use or, or to answer is, can the hydration sprays be used after peels and lasers? So that's important because so many of our estheticians are doing intensive skincare procedures these days. And I have to, and I'm, I, I'm very pleased to say that yes, you can use our hydration sprays right after peels and lasers. The other day, well, not the other day, a, a few months ago, I was in Florida and I was at a partner location doing a training and they had a new IPL machine, a laser IPL machine. And they said, oh, let us show you the new machine. Let us use it on you. And she did a deep, intense treatment on me. And I had red stripes on my face that were very painful. And I grabbed the calming lavender and I spritzed right after and it took down the redness and soothed and calmed and took the burning out of my face. So I'm really pleased that it works that well. Um, the next question is what skin type is best for the SMS? And as you've seen during our presentation today, it really depends on which products you'd like to use. If you want it for oily skin, then you're gonna pair it with the Balance Hydration Spray and the Smooth Affair Mattifying. If you want it for dry skin, then you're gonna pair it with the Smooth Affair Illuminating Glow and the um, D2O Hydration Spray. So again, there's lots of options there. Then the next question, will Pure Press Base look dry on dry skin? And I'm, I'm glad that somebody submitted this question ahead of time because I have to say, it's one of the most widely asked questions that I get about Pure Press Base because people think that because it's a powder that it's gonna look dry on the skin. And you can't blame people for thinking that way. I mean, for the longest time, talc-based powders were all we had out there and they really did make the skin look horrible. They photographed like garbage. They would make everybody look dry and textural. Remember when you're talking about Pure Press Base, this is not a traditional powder. There's no talc, there's no binders, there's no fillers. It is pure pigment, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, iron oxides, boron nitride, which is the, the Rolls Royce of minerals and mica for luminosity. So through the light dispersal and, and optic diffusion that it gives, you never have that dry or cracked look. It always looks nice and fresh in the skin. And then, uh, the question that I, I, I get a lot when I'm teaching classes, do you really need to use the hydration spray? What's the answer to that question? Who can type into the chat box? What is the answer to that question? Absolutely. Yes, we have to have the hydration sprays. Without it, the, the makeup won't last as long. It won't look as good. So remember that. And then finally, can we apply liquid foundation as well? And the answer is absolutely. Yes, you can. You can always put your liquid foundation on after you put your primer on and before you put your pure press base on. Um, one of the most popular application techniques that we're doing right now is the afterglow where people are using our Hydro Pure Tinted Serum under the pure press base and they're loving it. It looks incredible on the skin. So a very popular uh, way to apply the product. So that's everything. That's all of the, um, all of the information that we have in, the, in our slides. Um, any other questions that came up onto the screen while I was talking? Yes, we have a couple from Victoria. Um, she says, I use Dream Tint. So uh, do I use primer under when not using a base? So I think that we can kind of expand that to when using, you know, uh, our foundations that aren't amazing base or peer press base. Yeah, absolutely. You can, so you can use, you can use Smooth Affair Primer under Dream Tint Tinted Moisturizer. And I like the way that it looks because I feel like it, it makes it look more light dispersing and smooth. Remember, Dream Tint has the lightest amount of coverage of any of our products. We call it our no makeup makeup because it's so sheer. If you want to increase 
the mattification of, of, of dream tint, because dream tint goes on a little bit more matte than some of our other foundations do. One of my favorite new combinations that I'm loving is I'm loving putting the Smooth Affair mattifying under dream tint. It's really cool looking because it looks very flawless. It takes away shine. It's still very sheer and skin-like, but it makes the skin look very flawless, like very like perfect. So it's a nice trick to do. That is very cool. Um, okay, so Victoria asked one other question. Um, when and how do I use the new SPF you offer with the brush? So Powder Me SPF. Ah, so Powder Me SPF, when you're using it, what you're going to do is you're going to use this. You can use it over the top of a liquid foundation if you don't want extra coverage. You can use it by itself if you're going outside. You can put it on with a primer underneath it if you want to make it look a little bit more flawless or you want a little better adherence. But... Remember that this is not a coverage powder. So you're not using it to even out the complexion. There's no coverage in it. There's a slight tint so you can see where you're putting it on the skin. But its main purpose is as a broad spectrum SPF 30 to protect the skin from the sun. Titanium dioxide is the SPF. And there's also montmorillonite in there, which is a soothing clay that will take the redness out of an existing sunburn. And if you need to clean the brush, remember you can just pull it out it's in there with a magnet and then drop it back in. A lot of women I know in the summertime are giving this to their husband to use before they go out on the golf course because you don't sweat it off like you do a liquid um, SPF. It's, it's much longer lasting. It stays on the skin quite well. So. Awesome. Okay. So it doesn't look like we have any other questions. Um, it looks like Dawn is raising her hand, but I can't do anything with that, Dawn. So if you have a question, please do put it in the Q&A or the chat. If you're just saying hi, hi. Um, all right, we'll give it another minute just in case anyone has any questions. But I hope you all have enjoyed um, this masterclass. As always, Sean. Oh, she's just saying hi. Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> and I love, I'm, I'm loving all the lovely comments. There's some people that have put in there that they love our products and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So it always makes me happy to hear. And I know Jane would be happy to hear it as well. Yes. So yes, um, I listen, I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's webinar. Um, we're going to do more of them. So please tune in. And if you have questions, you know, you can always reach out to us um, through our social media. Emma is always happy to get to get questions in social media. I think people email them to to us more than they submit them on social media. But the cool thing about about submitting questions and inquiries to our to our Instagram, our Facebook, and things like that is that everybody can see the questions and we get to answer them live, and it makes it more of a conversation for people. So please submit questions via social media and uh, and let everybody enjoy the process that we're doing here. So. Yes. Oh, I love that. Jan said she's been a Jane Iredale customer since 96. Wow. So amazing. Thank you that, so much. And thank you everyone for joining. We're getting a lot of appreciation in the comments. So um, thank you everyone for joining. If you want to rewatch this or you want to share it with a buddy, we will be posting it on YouTube. Um, so you can always rewatch it. But thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Sean. And I hope you all thank have you. a wonderful rest of your evening or day, depending on where you are. It was an absolute joy. Y'all have a fabulous evening. Take care. Thanks. Bye.